You know, this is, <laughs> they make it sound like that this is something that just reoccurred. Yeah, no. You know, this is a brand no. new virus they just discovered in the latter part of 2019. Mm-hmm, yes. So. Yeah, because it broke up in that little town of Wuhan there, and, uh... Yeah. Well, and they're assuming that's where it popped up, but see, that, that's what cracks me. How can they pinpoint this when there's, like, 80 million people in China? How they might have asked them where they... Uh, well, billion. Isn't it like one point something billion? But yeah. anyways, you know, it's like, how can they pinpoint the exact... I don't know, um, unless they're interviewing these people, um, you know. And know, they're saying... How do we know it wasn't from a village where, you know, somebody traveled? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know either. The, 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 there's so many unanswered questions. Unless, like I said, it's something they all had in common, that is where they got food. I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, how do we know, like, somebody in a remote village somewhere didn't travel in a town and they brought it? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, I'm, it probably was, I'm thinking. Um, you know. One of those stalls, you know, they brought food, and ta-da, there you go. <laughs> Catching bats in the caves there. That's the only thing I can figure. I don't know what else it could be. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. They're saying it's from the bats. So you tell me. I have no idea. They're, they're Saying that, and other people are saying, "Yeah, it was from the pigs." And other people, "Oh no, it's from." It's like, okay, which okay? What I've seen the most is the bat. Yeah, yeah, I've seen several on that. Okay, and the last so, one I saw said, "It's confirmed. It's the bats." I don't know. I honestly don't know. There's so many things out there that's yeah. just it's. <laughs> oh, I know. It's insane. It is insane. You know, let's let's go into the facts here. That's what we're going to discuss first, because I want to know, like, what we know so far, what they're telling us, what every site is saying about this virus. Yeah. Okay. One, it's highly contagious. Very, very. You can go 14 days without knowing you even have it. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah, so they're saying that you go up to 14 days. But, you know, so think about this. You can have this for two weeks to be going around touching things. Oh, great. So, yeah. So there's there's all kinds of, you know, stuff So, out and how many people do you, you, you know, how many people do you come in contact with in two weeks? Wow. Exactly. So this is what we know for a fact. There's seven, like we said, the seven strains of coronavirus. Mm -hmm. This is a new strain. This was not seen before the latter part of 2019. And the best defense you can possibly have ever, well, of course, is you can stay home bored of your house. But right. I don't recommend it. No. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, when you're out in public, you know, Right now, they have this contained. Let, let, let's get that very straight. In the United States, as of now, this is contained. Right. They have actually put up. Now, this is kind of scary to me. They have actually built up military bases, these housings for people that are coming over from over there to keep them quarantined. Yeah, yeah, I, yes. Up to a 1,000 people. You know, and some of the people that are coming in are coming into Detroit. Right. Great. Right by the lakes. <laughs> right. Wonderful. Yeah. That's what I kind of said, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I like the cages to be used by the biggest bodies of water in the U.S. Great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. But they're, they're saying that, they, you know, and I'm not saying these people are even infected. They're coming over just because they're from, they're coming from there doesn't mean they're infected. Right, right. Unless yeah. it was that province, they're saying. If somebody's yeah. been, you know, in that province or whatever, Wuhan. So they're going to quarantine these people that are directly coming from Wuhan or whatever that place is. Yeah, is. Wuhan, yeah. I, I cannot pronounce it if I pronounced it wrong. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry too, but it's W-U-H-A-N. Yeah. So I'm... And, yeah, I have no idea. Close enough, guys. <laughs> but, 
But anyways, so it's like the, they're coming directly from there. They're getting quarantined. Right. For some of them up to a month, they're saying, which doesn't make sense to me, but okay. And then they're saying people that are just coming from China are going to be self-monitored. Oh, what is that? Self-monitored? That means that they can self-monitor themselves at home. <coughs> so if they start getting fevers or whatever, oh, they, you know, they can go be quarantined. But in the meantime, are they going to trust them just to stay in their homes? Are they, you know, in the yeah. are they trusting on the way? I don't, I don't understand what, you know, are they doing like a pizza delivery? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Chinese, yeah, Chinese food. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get what's going on here. Yeah, I don't either. I don't understand it either. Um, to be there, honest, there's so many blank holes in the story of, course. of what you see. Of course, you know what I mean. You, yeah, there, there, there's so many blank holes of what you hear, what you see. You know, me personally, I'm not worried about it at this moment. No. But there are, there's a lot of things out that are, like, really making me turn my head as to what's going on here. Right, right. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, uh, this is the seventh strain of a, of a coronavirus. Right. And they didn't even... I don't remember them freaking out this much with SARS, do you? No, no. Or the bird or flu. Or the like quarantine buildings, and they're yeah. freaking out, and it's, you know... And, I, you know, and now they're, they're, they're testing these drugs, these antivirals, which, okay, yeah, it does make sense. Mm -hmm. But it's like they're, they're, they're trying out drugs that are used to treat HIV. HIV. That is a little bizarre. With four parts of other ones. And, and, but, but now it's like it's the beginning of today. Yeah. It was like, well, these sites were like, oh, yeah, they're doing this, this, HIV. Well, then now they're backtracking. Oh, no, that's not what we meant. Uh, okay, what did you mean? And other sites, other sites are still saying it. So it's right. like, I don't know what to believe. You I don't know either I mean? at this point. I, yeah. But this is the thing. It's like we have no solid proof either way of anything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, it, yeah. It's just it's very creepy to me. Yeah, yeah it is. It's it's like, even with the bird flu, I mean, they were kind of, they were worried about a pandemic with that. Um, and that was pretty widespread, but nothing like this. Uh, well, this... even when H1N1 was actually oh, yeah. pronounced to be a pandemic by the World Health Organization, and not by the CDC, mind you, right. well, but people still weren't, like, freaking out. Right. You know what I mean? Building these quarantine centers and all this. Yeah, yeah. You know, all this weird stuff. You know, and, and I'm sorry, but we have to... We have to look at the big elephant in the room. We have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We conspiracy theories. Oh, well, of course. You know, and and you know me. I jumped down that rabbit hole, too. There's, there, there's in fact, there, there's a few ladies, except one especially, and a few of the survival groups, I'll argue with them just to, just to make them mad. But, yes. <laughs> you know, but they do, some of them do make sense. You know, I would never admit that to right. them, because they're probably going to find out now. But, you know, you can't go by every conspiracy out no, there. No, go God, you no. You can't assume because they used an HIV drug that this was some bioweapon that was right, put right. out by the Chinese and it got slipped out and this is what happened and, you know. Yeah, I think that's a little much, <laughs> personally. <laughs> um, but, I mean, this, yeah. these are the conspiracies that are out there. Oh, right yeah. Now. There are people convinced that this was a bioweapon that was being designed Oops. to wipe out people and it slipped out somehow in the city. And this is what they're saying. Which, you know, like I said, that's, that's even much for me. I'm not saying it can't happen because I'm a strong believer that Lyme disease escaped from that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I totally believe that. Um, the, the thing about it is they're not dying. Not everybody is dying. It's, um, exactly. most of them are... This is I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, most of them are recovering. It takes quite a while, apparently. But this is the thing that bothers me, though. This is something. This is where, like, these holes that are. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like, and uh, remember, like those tests you used to take, and like when they would, when they would correct them, there'd be like all those holes. <laughs> this yeah. is what this reminds me of. So oh, much. definitely, definitely. Because you think about it, we have these flus that like are wiping out thousands. Yeah. Thousands of people. Yep. 
we've got other diseases out there that are wiping out, you know, hundreds more than this one. But for some reason, this one, that's still in its, in its like, infancy stage, I guess you can say, mm -hmm. according to them. All of a sudden, we are freaking out. Big time. As a matter of fact, we are building a quarantine. We're not allowing planes. And yeah, and cruise ships are being allowed docked. Yeah, it's like all this stuff is going on. What the hell do they know that we don't? Yeah, exactly. There, something's being left out. I agree. There's some something else there because the well, CDC. Yeah, some of these trust the government type people. Are like, oh well, you know they know best. They must. Be. It's like no, I want to know. You know, I want to know what the fuck's going on here. There, there is just something. Just uh, there's just something that's not sitting right with me. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, because I'm not saying it, the disease is going to escape and everybody's going to die, but I'm just saying like it just something doesn't sit right. Yeah, because all of a sudden today the CDC defended um, their aggressive actions to control the spread of new cor coronavirus in the U.S including stern advisories, of course, traveling to China, and mandatory federal quarantines for those arriving from that part yeah. of China. It's like, and the, uh, it comes as the agency is working to provide state and local health departments with the tools needed to diagnose the virus. Um, the okay, but this is my question. I'm sorry, go ahead. I, I was showing thought pattern. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. It's in your head. Do it. Okay, the, 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 the mandatory quarantine thing, mm -hmm. okay, they're mandatory because they're trying to contain this. Well, what if this, this disease gets loose somewhere? What if it does? What, what are they going to do? Quarantine blocks and cities? Are oh. they going to force quarantines on people and it's going to be like the walking dead? You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> probably. I mean, yeah, I, I you, could see you that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, is that what that's going to be like? Yep. Is this a state? I mean, what are they going to do? I I don't know. That's what it sounds like. You know, are they um, going to do the four C's? You know what I mean? And uh, there's, if you look on YouTube, there's a new virus hospital in China. It's ready for patients. Um, it took only 10 days for this construction. 10 days they built this. It's a new virus but then the other one that they had, the quarantine hospital, they were yeah. saying the protesters were burning it down. Yeah. They didn't want it there. Yeah, China's new virus hospital is ready for patients. Ten days after construction began. They're like these little quarantine okay. rooms. It's crazy. Yeah, how do people know this stuff? You know, I don't know. China's, China just doesn't give out information, you know yeah. what I mean? Why would they do it so quickly? I mean, it's like, boom. Yeah. Boom, it's well, there. There was a Wisconsin station that, that did like a phone interview with somebody who was in China. They didn't want to give their name, of course. Mm -hmm. you know? So who knows if it's actually true or not. But they were saying that that they were forced to stay in their homes. I believe and if they went out without a mask, they could actually be fined and all this other yeah. crazy stuff. Yeah. And yeah. that the public transportation isn't running over there. But, like, but again... We're not there. We don't know. All everybody around us is getting information from websites and from from news channels and and the CDC. So it's like that. I just yeah. I want somebody to explain to us why is this one so much more horrible. Yeah, I would like us. to know too. Absolutely. Um, and Monday uh, the, today, CDC said a plan to submit the diagnostics to the FDA for approval. Um, under emergency use authorization. Um, and, of course, that ha um, they're trying to get it as soon as ASAP, the approval process for potentially life-saving medical or diagnostic pro uh, products. So, and, of course, the explosive outbreak there, um, 20,000 cases confirmed and 425 deaths so far. Um how many deaths? 425. Now, see, just today, that freaking Forbes site or whatever said there was only 100 and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's like, who's right? Yeah, this is uh, from the CDC, apparently. More than 20,000 confirmed cases, 425 deaths. They're calling it an explosive outbreak out there. Um, 
we are preparing as if this were the next pandemic. Dr. Nancy Massanier, director of CDC National Center. So, um, the Department, State Department issued a do not travel for China. Um, they're planning to pull out additional U.S. citizens from the province in the coming days. Um, the first group of evacuees from the Wuhan arrived in California last week and remain under federal quarantine. So, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, anybody coming from there, uh, Americans on flights to the U.S. from there, uh, in the last 14 days, they will be subject to quarantine for up to 14 days. They'll be rerouted to different airports. Um, and they'll yeah. be waiting for them. They're going to be waiting for them there, so... Yeah, one of them is Detroit. Yeah. Yep. Really? Okay. yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, it's like, I don't know if this is a play to divert attention to something, or it, it's it just, like I said, there's too many holes. There yeah. is too many holes going on. Why are they preparing so, for... There's, there's like some serious, crazy-ass virus. Oh, yeah. It's going to, like, wipe out the world, or this is, like, just a crazy, really crazy <laughs> attention thing to, you know, and I believe either one, you know, yeah, I don't, yeah. you know, you know me, I don't, I don't trust me. Yeah, what they're saying is they're trying to sl slow the entry of the virus into the U.S. so it doesn't spread nationwide, uh, but I've never seen them do anything like this for anything. Uh, for any flu virus or virus, um, they were worried about the that uh, bird flu. Remember that? That was kind of crazy, but not to the extent of this. And why are they preparing? You know, why are they preparing for this like it's going to be a pandemic? Why? Well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We we've got <laughs> we've got people that are like this. What's really crazy about this? Have you seen those N95 masks? That are online. Yeah. Have you seen those? With it, they're they're like going sky high right now, and it's hilarious. And they're they're not going to keep you from getting anything. They're actually you know more designed to keep you from getting other people sick. Yeah. Yeah. The point. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I'm just saying, like people are freaking out. Yeah. They are freaking out, and they are believing every conspiracy. Like I said, I, I like to argue with these girls a lot just to do it. But, but, oh, you know, yeah. And I, I do, you know, I agree with them to a certain extent that, you know, you can't believe every single thing that you read out there. But at the same time, I don't blindly trust my government either. Right. Oh, yeah, exactly. You can't. Because I think people just blindly trust things. And, you know, and they're reading stuff online, too, just like I am. Sure. You know? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and you, it's just crazy. But the CDC is saying all these horrible things. Now these are the people that are supposed to be protecting us and yes. preventing us from seeing things. Why this strain? Yeah. Why? Why is this new strain worse than all the other strains? You ain't kidding. I want to know what makes it. I want to know what makes it worse than SARS. Yeah. Or MERS. Oh, yeah, you got that right. Which are all in the coronavirus family, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> so what makes this one so bad? I don't know, and what, that's the, what that's the key thing. Deadly, what, what makes it, what, what makes them being paranoid about it now? I mean, it, it could be a total headline, you know, thing where they're trying to divert attention from something because, yeah. you know, during the impeachment show and... And the first outbreak of this, we moved, like, thousands of troops overseas. Right, you know, right. And not one mention of it in the news. Yeah. Um, of oh. course, you have from CNBC, we have, of course, some... There's going to be um, people that are trying to spread panic, I swear. Uh, you have an ex-FDA commissioner, Scott Gottlieb. And he's saying this is going to become a... Will likely become a pandemic. So you have people like this who are saying, yes, it's probably going to be one, so, you know, get ready. Kind of spreading the fear. The, he says yeah. the coronavirus will likely grow into pandemic, um, but it's not too late for officials to prevent from becoming an epidemic in America. So, 
Um, it's been declared an epidemic in uh, China, of course, but a pandemic could be declared if it starts to affect large numbers of people all over the globe. So we shall see what happens. Yeah. So he's exactly. just uh, kind of like a panic person here. Oh, it's going to probably be one, so get ready. Okay. I don't know. I just, uh, I, I don't, like I said, there's too many holes in this, and and these, girl, these girls are still going online here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. No. But like she just said, that they're thinking maybe this is this one was airborne. They were all there. SARS was airborne from the water droplets. This is yeah. what they're saying. No, they, I said it was, um, gosh darn it, let me find it. It said it was confirmed it was the bats. I'm like, okay. Because yeah. they've been eating bats over there or something with the bats. I'm like, oh. Um, let me see if I can find that. Kind of crazy. So again, just take, you know, for flu precautions as much as you can. Yeah. I mean, I the, the, the best thing that people are going to do right now is, I mean, of course, hygiene. Yeah, of course. You know how it all gets out of hand. It's like, whew. Yeah, um, that's like your best defense against anything right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're going to lose the with me online. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Um, they had something on there. Thought I saved it. Maybe I didn't. Yeah, and they're, another, they're, 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 <laughs> they don't see anything with the protocol with this disease that's special. Because they asked them, I said, what makes this virus so special? And, yeah. and, and the lady said, I guess I don't see anything about the evolution of this treatment protocol that looks special. Right. Well, it is special because they haven't done this before. <laughs> you know right, I mean? right. They, they, mm. haven't, they haven't rushed to, to try to find a treatment this fast. They, but, but then again, this, you know, you've got the other side, the financial side of it, for people like, oh, well, they're doing this because they're trying to get everybody to buy the vaccine. Right, right. Um, and this from ABC News, it's on YouTube. Also that, uh, now, of course, we have confirmed the uh, coronavirus cases here, and all the experts are warning of a pandemic, so... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But, but like I said, H one N one was actually considered a pandemic by the World Health right, Organization, right. but not by the CDC. Right. You know, and it turned out to be just a just a just a fancy form of the flu. You know, and I'm not saying this one isn't because the people that are dying are, are people that were already compromised. Right. But then you know, you've got these, these people popping out with these x-rays saying, oh, look, it's crystallizing people's lungs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, whoa. Like I said, there, there's so many holes in this. I really wish that, like, the CDC would actually just come out with some kind of news conference yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of, but they won't do it because then that doesn't sell stories. Right. You know? Oh, yeah. And they're saying that more evidence... The new coronavirus is linked to bats. They eat bat soup over there, is what it is. Bat soup. <sighs> SARS, oh. SARS was believed to have emerged from bats also. Although, yeah, which is also the coronavirus. Although know. it spread to cats before infecting humans. So. Hmm. 
know. Yeah, it is. It okay. says, um... You've got the conspiracy theorists, which, like I said, it's so easy to jump down that rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. Please oh, don't yeah. Do it. It's very hard for me, because you know me. I usually jump down the rabbit hole yeah, yeah. quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know. That they're using the, the HIV drugs. For me, it's an oddity, but people here that work in the, ph the pharmaceutical are not finding it that odd. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, that well, is kind of strange. You would, I, don't remember I don't know what I, the whole cocktail four. is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's. Well, they're saying it's four. There, there's four. There, there's four major ones at the antivirals that they're using, and one of them does treat HIV. So that huh. to me doesn't make sense, but to other people it seems to. So, okay. You know, I'm not even going to, okay, let, let's just take that out of the factor. Okay? Yeah, yeah. We're taking drugs out of the factor. There's still all this weird stuff going on. Oh, yeah. I can't, you know? <laughs> I can't even think of a time when we had set up quarantine uh, for people coming off planes, yeah. you know, for, uh. You no, know, the last time I can actually think of anything like this is one when people had, uh, Polio. Yeah. They were yeah. 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 You know. Oh yeah. And the other one is when they had tuberculosis. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, of course, the Spanish flu was around. They did it then, but that was like you know. Yeah. Nineteen. You know, it's a hundred years later. So it's like I know when tuberculosis, they had special hospitals. Oh yeah. Mandatory yes. quarantine and stuff like that for people with TB. Um. Polio too, which was really odd. They 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 had that too. Special hospital yeah. quarantine and stuff like that because mm -hmm. you know usually it, it was contagious, but it wasn't highly. You know, okay. TV is though. Okay, now what they're saying is um, going evidence. They had a couple studies on these bats, okay, and the genome sequences of the new strain were ninety six percent identical. Uh, to the coronaviruses found in bats. They were the likely hosts. Um, it, and also because um, of the six patients that uh, immediately came down with it, worked at that seafood market where it was believed to have originated. So that probably gave them a clue. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so, okay. So we originated it from bats. Okay, now this this is going to sound really, it's probably going to sound really wagged out and stupid, but I don't know. But is it something that our bats can get? I don't, or, I would think. You know, can it, well, I, they're saying it can go from animal to human, but can it go from human to animal? He, yeah, that's a good animal. point. I don't know. These bats are already dead. I don't, know enough, of, I don't know enough about the transfer, right. you know. For that kind well, of apparently, stuff, so know. they make bat soup, and that's how they got yeah. it. <sighs> okay, whatever. Uh, well, you know, that's, that's, that's their deal, you know. Yeah. There's, you know, we eat stuff that other countries think we're disgusting for, so True. I mean, <laughs> True. I mean, that, that part is like whatever, you know, but it, it's just the point here that, okay, now we've got this disease out, and it's like, what makes this disease, this virus, so special? Yeah, I don't know. We're building all these quarantine things, yeah, and we're yeah. freaking out, and, and we're getting all these leaflets where, you know, in the medical field, they're taking... You know, if one of your workers is this or this, you know, do, right. you know it's going to get to the point where we're going to start swabbing for this. Yep. If this disease, if this virus is let out, this is what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be one more thing we're freaking swabbed for at the doctor. And then what, what's going to happen then? If we test positive, are we going to get put in a quarantine tent somewhere? I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to be forced by gunpoint to be... You know, and so, you know, this is, yeah. this is the stuff I'm wondering about. Oh, yeah, you don't know how far this is, how, they're, how far they're willing to go with this at this point. If they already yeah. have quarantine places set up, what's next? Absolutely. What's next? Yeah. I don't know. 
well, like I said, you know, like, like these people are staying online here. And then these are people that are like pharmacology, nursing, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're saying like it's not odd for them to like just try different things, but it's like why the aggressiveness of this? Yeah, I don't. Why are yeah. they like? You know, they, they, they didn't do this with the other coronavirus, no. and why are they doing it with this one? Yeah, that's exactly it. Why? We don't know this. That's the leading question. Why is it so much, you know, more that they're responding this way to it? I don't know. Um, mm-mm. Yeah, I'm sitting here and just like... <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, and I try not to be argumentative with right. everybody. Right, <laughs> right. Like, it's so hard not to when it's like people are not looking at things and it's like they're not seeing things. Yeah. Well, oh, what they're saying is, you know, why didn't uh, exactly how the new coronavirus sweeping through China made a leap from animal to human? Well, they're eating it. Um, it's because it's so chaotic, you know, the urban sprawl, chaotic, the, um, loosely regulations for these markets there, um, for most of your China's open air markets, there's not, uh, any, you know, real hard regulations for these places. So you don't know, you know, what they're, how they're preparing this either. Um, so... Well, I, I want to know, like, why are they mixing camel flu with HIV drugs and all that yeah. stuff and all these things? Yeah. They combat this. It's yeah, just, if somebody could tell it. us what the concoction is and why they did it that way, that would be great. Um, yeah. Well, I know one of them is camel flu. One is, like, the drugs that treat HIV. There's, there's two other ones. I don't know what they are. Oh, but, tamiflu? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 That stuff's nasty. Anyway, um, you know, while they're there in these markets, they're live. You know, they're mixing with other animals. They're all kinds of crap. And, ugh. You'll see a bird on top well, of yeah, a pig. What does it transfer to? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Like, can it transfer to a cow? Can it transfer to a pig? Can it transfer to Yeah, we don't, that we don't know. Can yeah. it trans- transfer to the animals that we eat? <coughs> like mm-hmm. Crazy. You know, I love when they say, oh, you know, new story out of China. Well, last time I knew China wasn't exactly sharing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they weren't the type to be like, oh, oh <laughs> just don't let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, no. They keep everything very close to the hip. That they do. Absolutely. Um, you know, and, it, and then another conspiracy here is because this came out, like, right after they... They signed the, the trade agreement. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. released the oil to us, and they and 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 now we can trade with them and stuff like that. Now all of a sudden we got this disease. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, you well, know? what they're saying is too, you know, about um, that mar- those markets like that. You have uh, snakes and bats and birds and pigs. Uh, they're in with these cages. Everything's mis- mixing, and these. Um, it helps to create new viruses, especially these animals are slaughtered right in front of the customer. These are not... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is not, you know, just, okay, it's already made, here you go. No, no. And this guy says, uh, if you planned it and thought it, I'm going to make a new virus. This is exactly how you would do it. Just uh, the crowd, the, you know, because it's so crowded, and they got all these animals together. Um, they're making the food right in front of you, <laughs> literally, and there I'm you go. That, so, so this person is thinking that this was done on purpose? No. No, it's just how it's, no. It's just because there's really no regulations for these markets oh, like okay, this. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Yeah, not on purpose. It's just they. It, that's how they do it. And that's what creates a lot of this stuff and ends up over here because they're, um, You know, they there's no cleanliness there. It's not like you know. Of course, can't say much about our factories lately, but hey, um, yeah. You know, there's no recall. I get done, ate it. They're dead. It's done. So it's just a combination of things. I think that it, you know causes. Mm mm mm. 
and they also sell wild animals there. So there you go. Uh, yeah. They closed it all now. <laughs> if they, I don't know. if they, and they're saying if they, if they're not closed, I, I, I don't know. I know it's like you, you can we, we say we go around and around in circles with yeah. it because there's so many holes in the stories that we're hearing. Yeah. yeah. Not just not just from China itself, but from our government and from. The people that are reporting on these things, who's like you said, the news media is going to make it sound ten times worse than it is. Okay, yeah. Um, one early clue of a bat's role. Uh, there have been a lot of things. Uh, the SARS outbreak almost two decades ago abruptly changed things, and it helped jump uh, to jumpstart a worldwide search for other viruses that could spill into humans. After contact with animal excrement, saliva, mucus, or whatever, and the research often led back to infected bats as the source. And that came from a brain infecting N I P A H. Nipa virus, a Nipah virus in, in Malaysia that killed more than 100 people. It turned out they were fruit bats with the virus, were feeding on mango trees overhanging a pig enclosure. The bats dropped fruit into the pens, infected the pigs. The pigs then passed it on to people. There you go. Yeah. That was a brain well, infecting virus. Are bats just like, like rodents with wings anyways? Yeah. Are they? <laughs> I don't know why you I would eat them. A little bear to me, yeah. but, but here was the fruit bats. They were infecting the mangoes. Uh, the, the fruit would drop. The pigs would eat it. They became infected. And then, of course, it went on to the people. Uh, but that was, you know, pretty... Um, Hit Contained immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. So who knows? But bat soup, I think I'd pass on. But apparently it's a big thing yeah. over there. Yeah. Crazy. So it's like one long chain of just... Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Well, I guess it's like anything else, you know. Look at, look at here, you know. Oh, back in the Black Plague, look what caused that, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, what? there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's kind of crazy. That was crazy how that would happen like that. It was a brain-infecting disease, which, of course, they um, got right away, but um, it was basically from the bats, but they were infecting other things, and then we ate them. <laughs> then they ate them, and they got it. So it's hard. Yeah. I mean, like, as far as this disease itself goes, uh, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be worried about it. You no, know? no, no. I'm not going to sit here and like, hold oh on, that person sees it. They've got it, you know, which they probably do have a form of coronavirus. It's called a cold. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in a sense, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I'm not going to sit here and worry about it, but at the same time, I'm going to keep close tabs on what's going on. Oh, heck on yeah, heck yeah. With the CDC and stuff like that, because especially, you know, working in the medical field, I don't want oh, to... Oh, yeah. Chances, but, you know, with, you know the, the, the facilities that I work at, the chances, I don't know, but I feel bad for, like, people at hospitals... And, yes, And yes, pharmacists yes. and things like that, because they're, they're really dealing with, like, the general public. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One um, apparently one site was shut down. Uh, Scientific American. It's saying snakes. It's saying snakes could be the source of the new virus. Hmm. <laughs> and it is temporarily unavailable. Really. Yeah. Then there'll be people conspiring, you know, yeah. theorizing. Well, why was it shut down? Was that the truth? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know me. I got to start you shit know, sometimes. I, yeah. I, there I you go. <laughs> be just because you know, I find it interesting. Yeah. You know, if people choose to go down the, the rabbit hole because of something I post, that, that's their You know, right, right. I can't stop it because you could literally post a picture of a blue shoelace and somebody would have some conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, it's temporarily unavailable. Just to, for your information, take what it would. But they're they're they're, show, they're uh, comparing this to the SARS virus almost because. Um, well, the CDC is actually saying that this has SARS-like qualities. Right. That's exactly what they're saying. So, 
Interesting. Mm -mm -mm. I like that. Yep. Right. Crazy. And they sickened uh, cruise customer on Carnival's Princess Line, so you know they're all quarantined. Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Well, there was one cruise ship in the Bahamas or the Caribbean, one of them, where they wouldn't even let them dock. No. That is this one, Princess Cruises. Right. These, these people didn't have enough fuel to get back. They, didn't, they couldn't just stay afloat, you know. So right. finally they agreed to give them fuel and basically send them on their way. Yeah. <laughs> so jacked up. Yeah. Um, so like I said, what, what is making this virus so much yeah. worse than all the That's others? N they're not saying. There's nothing... Um, they're not addressing that or whatever. That is crazy. Yeah, there's no, uh, they said something about the vaccine. You know, they're using, a butt, and it's so damn expensive, too. What is up with that? Well, and, and the thing, too, that, that bothers me, it's like our government and, you know, several other governments, they, they've been known for secrets and things like that that right. have come out years later, you know. The fact that they're letting us know about all these things, the quarantine centers, yeah. and all this, it also bothers me because if it's something that our government doesn't want us to know about, we wouldn't know about it. Right. Until years later when they're like, oh, hey, yeah, by the way, we did this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the fact that they're letting us know about this kind of makes me think that they want us to turn our heads to something else. I don't know. But you, do, you, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's just it's very suspicious. Ah, I, I don't mean, know. Hmm. Why, why, you know, I understand they, they don't want it getting out, like, whatever this is, because it could cause widespread panic and people freaking out, and, you know. And I get that, but then why would you let us know about, you know, the whole city is shutting down? Right. Or maybe they just don't need it anymore because of the Internet. Yeah. It's so phone. Maybe they, just, they, they truly can't contain what's going on. Oh, no, I don't think you can. No way. No way. Too much uh, way to spread the news too easily. Yeah, they can't keep so it they, under wraps like they could before. Well, they, they could have kept it secret about the, the quarantine centers that's going to house up to a thousand people. Why would they let that out into the news? Because somebody would have said something eventually. Oh, hey, you I saw so? this. Yeah. Somebody would have seen it. Um, and said, oh, hey, look what they're putting up here. It looks like well, a quarantine. Well, it's going to be on a military base, so who oh. would have seen it? Uh, I don't know. Somebody on the military base would leak it, probably. Maybe, yeah. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. I just, like I said, there, there, there's so many holes. Like if they remind you of those tests, I remember they would push it down to see if you had the right answer. Like, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, that's what this whole thing reminds me of. There's just holes everywhere. Yeah, oh yeah, there's no doubt there. Some stuff checked off, it's like, okay, well that's true. And some other stuff is like, there's a blank hole because you missed the answer, but okay, now wait a minute, they just said this. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, so what so right now, the... Right the CDC says the best defense right now in your home is, they said just in general, for any type of respiratory, any type of respiratory, okay, yeah. Let's not talk about the elephant in the room, let's yeah. call it the respiratory. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're saying basically just to have stuff at home like we were talking about the last time. Mm-hmm. Of like, you know, have medicine available, keep um, hand sanitizer, keep washing your hands. Oh, yeah. Try to avoid too many crowded places, you know. Yep. Um, don't travel overseas for now. Right? Yeah. Uh, so, because uh, they put bans on certain ones, um, suspended entry of foreign nationals who have been in China. So, if you're going anyway near there, you're not going to be allowed in or allowed out. So, um, right. trying to see. How are they containing this? So this is what I don't understand. Yeah. This isn't like here where we have like these gigantic countries that are like, yeah. you know, thousands of miles apart. You know, we literally got three countries here. We got Canada, United States, and Mexico. Right. We're overseas, however, 
you have all these countries that are just back to back to back. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If China is, is close to Mongolia, China is close to, you know, uh, all kinds of, you know, it's very close <coughs> to like Afghanistan and India. Yeah. In Pakistan, and you know, there's just so many, you know, countries that it's very close to. Yeah. Vietnam, uh, Thailand, you know, that they've got cases in Thailand right now. Yeah, uh, from people traveling. Yeah, they've got the Philippines that are right there. Right. I, I think they're do, trying to contain it. No traveling outside of that area. Um, nobody's coming in, nobody's going out. They shut down all did those markets. Wait, but did they wait too long? This yeah, is that, that could well be. Um, hopefully they can contain most of it. We'll see. Um, yeah, they shut oh, down gosh, all sure those works. markets. So, I don't know. Um, it's Yeah, it might be too late. Uh, because that's how we found out the U.S. has them. Because they were near there and came home. Well, and took like you said it. There's, you know, some 1.0 billion people in China. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and then you've got all these countries that are bordering it, which border other countries, those border countries in, you know, the Middle East, and then, then those countries border places in Europe. Do you, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> what, is, what is keeping us yeah. from well, traveling? Well, they're, I don't know. I don't know. How they're going to do that? I really don't. Um, you know, because even according to this map here, you know, you've got these these smaller countries that they're really not that far from China, really. No, I know. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and a lot of those areas around there, I'm sure they have bat soup too. Uh, it, I don't know because a lot of your um, places are they have those open air markets, and you yeah. know. Uh, and what they call the wet, they call them wet markets, things like that. They have the soup, they have shark fin soup and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. crazy. I mean, Russia itself directly borders China. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if Russia yeah. will tell us anything. Mongolia, you know, <laughs> yeah. borders China. Kaza, Kazakhstan borders China. Yeah, there's all these countries, Pakistan, New Delhi, you know, India, that border China. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I don't know if Russia will let us know if they have anything. Um. <laughs> I'm looking at a map, and I'm like, why were you asked? Yeah. Like, hey, I mean, you yeah. know they're that close, then you really look at it, like, wow. I know. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, granted, China is an enormous country. Oh, it's God, not, yeah. You know, it's not small. It's no. not like, you know, like one of our states or something. It's actually it's, it's a huge country. So, I mean, uh, you know, they might be able to contain it. I don't know. I don't know. All those people, they come in contact with other people who spread it to other people, and I just don't think it's possible. They might. Well, especially where it takes 14 days. Yeah, exactly. You won't sure know. Nine, that's. Scary. Because what if somebody traveled to China, traveled back to like let's say Mongolia or you know whatever, right, right. they spread it, then they spread it, and the next thing you know, it's all over Asia, then yep. it's all over the Middle East, it's all over Europe. Yep, and that could very um, well happen. I can't see how they're going to contain everybody. I think they'll contain most of it, uh, but there's just I just can't see that happening. That amount of people. Um, yeah. <laughs> And as we found out, of course, um, people that traveled over to China came back to the U.S., they have it, because uh, they were in the Wuhan market. must be a big market over there that people go to. But did these people actually consume like bats, or did they just catch it from someone else? They could have caught it from someone else. I don't know. Oh. They did not say. Um, that, I don't know. Like it's just so many holes, and then it's just like yeah. merry-go-round, like round and round. Yeah. <laughs> because if it didn't show up for two weeks later, how many people got infected before that are now just coming down with it? So yeah, you've got people interacting with other people, da 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 da, da and there goes the domino effect. Uh, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Let's hope. Well, they... well, well look how fast H one N one spread. I'm sorry. Do you remember H one N one? That that was the swine flu. Yeah. 
that that passed so quickly throughout the world. Oh was yeah, insane. that was insane. Um, and again, that back then I can remember them spreading the fear mm-hmm. and that crazy medicine. You know, and again, we we are definitely. I am definitely not trying to pass. You know, fear and craziness. Because I am telling you, for the most part, I can tell you right now. A lot of what you hear is just crap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. A lot of what you see on the internet, a lot of stuff that you read is crap. Yeah. It's yeah, that H1N1, one it, one, it, it spread from person to person also. So, um, yeah. So, it's basically, you know, in the meantime, till we know anything, I think it's safe to use your, you know, precautions like you would for any flu at this point you know wash your hands you know don't go out into crowds if you can avoid it um your fingers up dry the nose and mouth <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um you know you may, you know lice all your stuff at home no it may not prevent it but it'll help you know um yeah what else can you do? Keep up. You can do all the right things and still get stuff. Yeah, you, know? you can. Uh, but you know, I think the main thing is staying away from big crowds of people. Maybe I think that's a big thing. And just be careful when you're out. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um. I'm going to check something. There is something else I wanted to talk about tonight. I mean, this is all, like I said, we can go in circles for four hours. On oh, yeah. Subject. Yeah. <laughs> for real. But it's like, I, I honestly don't know see this kind of thing. I do agree with these people about the drugs. They, you know, they're going to try anything and everything to combat it. But I, oh, I yeah. I yeah. the question as to why they're aggressively going after this, you know? Yeah. When, when it has it isn't even close to to how many people and deaths that have occurred like with just the common flu, you know. Right, right. Well, you know, if it gets bad, um, if you start feeling like you know bronchitis and pneumonia type thing, get in immediately. They will test you apparently. So um, well, I had that four months ago. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I did. I had it last year myself. But yeah, you did. I remember that. I yes. remember because I. Had do the B.O.B. here yeah. by my foot night because you were uh, yeah. out sick bad. Yeah. Um, we had the corona. It, is det- um, it could be determined you do not need to be hospitalized, but you will be quarant- isolated and I'm quarantined. Um, you'll be monitored by staff from your local or state health department. Um, yes, yeah, separate yourself from people, other people in your home. Um, a separate bathroom if you can. Um, if you think you have the coronavirus, call your doctor and let them know. And they'll take steps to help helping you. Um, of course, cover your mouth when you cough and sneeze. Uh, clean your hands. Oh, and stuff, yes. Yeah. Don't share your uh, household items. Towels, <laughs> there you go. Cups, you know, eating utensils. Of course, I don't know anybody who does that. I don't. Um, I use uh, it and I wash it. That's all there is to it. Um, so, you know, basically just do what you do for the flu. All that, you know. I don't know what else you could do. The biggest thing I think is staying away from crowds of people. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, but it's sometimes you have to, you know. Sometimes oh, yeah. you need to go out, out to be around yeah. people. Yeah, so. some of us cannot avoid that. That is true. So, in Michigan, yeah, that's not a good thing. That's close to you and close to me. So. Yeah, I know. Close for comfort, actually. But yeah. You know, Yep, it says that the CDC issues mandatory quarantine for the first time in more than 50 years. Yep. That's the thing you posted on the 31st, so. Yeah. So think about that. 50s of 1970. 
Yeah. Was the last time you did a quarantine like this? Mm hmm. What was that quarantine for, Hunter? I don't know. Well, you know, now I gotta find out. Hmm. Okay, while you're doing that, um, about Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, um, if it is discovered mid-flight that someone on board is feeling unwell and has been to China within the last 14 days, it could be re rerouted to one of 11 different U.S. airports. And Detroit Metro Airport has enhanced health screenings for those passengers. Uh, so, And Delta says they are suspending their flights from U.S. to China. American Airlines and United Airlines are also temporarily suspending their flights. That'll help. I think that's, that'll be a big help. So, it's, they have the enhanced corner, uh, coronavirus screenings at Detro uh, Detroit Metro Airport. So, it's one of yeah. 11. They will be able to screen it. So, that's kind of crazy. Mm-mm. Yeah, Detroit Metro Airport, I think, is maybe an hour and 20 minutes from me. So... Uh, huh? I said Detroit's only like an hour and a half from where I am. Yay. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. A few days before Christmas. Oh, wait a minute. Um, Michigan woman who had coronavirus. It's like pneumonia, but there's no treatment. It started with a cough and a runny nose for Kelly. That was a few days before Christmas 2018. Uh, she was a 51-year-old grandmother was diagnosed with a strain of coronavirus. Of course, it's a little different than this one, but... She was sidelined for more than a month because of it. Whoa. Hmm. That's found It doesn't say why. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So this is what bothers me, okay? Yeah. This is another thing that bothers me. Okay, it says here, 11,800 people have gotten the coronavirus in China. Okay. Now, so out of their one point whatever billion people, 11,000 people got this. They're saying 20,000 now. Okay, well, even, well, this, this is from the wash, this, this is from the Times from, uh, okay. from three days ago. This, but this is what I'm talking about, you yeah, different, oh. you know, stories, whatever. Yeah, CBS News. Um, but even at that, so, so, what is that, like, point oh oh four whatever? Yeah. <laughs> population? Um, oh, I'm sorry, as, mo as of Monday evening, there were more than 20,000 confirmed cases, in more than two dozen country, of course, the vast majority of them in China. Um, okay. 425 deaths in China, one in the Philippines. And that's horrible. You yeah. know, it is. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, there's, there's so much, okay, let, like, let, let's just look this up, I, you know, I, I gotta find out. I know. <laughs> yeah. There's a population of China. Yeah. Okay, so there's 1.386 billion. Yeah. That's of 2017, mind you. Right. People in China. So billion. Not a million, but billion. Yeah. Okay, so, you know. Yeah. How many in China? Well, let's just say most will say 18, 19,000 cases right. in China. Right. And we're quarantining the whole world for this. Yes. It doesn't make sense. The numbers don't add up, no. No, there's, there's just something that they're not telling us. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I, I have to agree there. I think the numbers are way off. Way, way, way off. So uh, we'll just have to... Yeah, I don't even something they're not telling us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, confirmed cases of... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, okay. So, 
here's the 2000, uh, the 2020 population of China, 1,437,141,960. Okay. So, let's say they had 20,000 cases. So that means there was 1,437,000. 121,960 people that did not get this virus. Right. That they're coming down the world for it. Why? So. <laughs> I don't know. Mathematics speaking. Well, yes, but there's something they're not telling us. Whether it be they're trying to divert our attention. To show how dumb we are that we just like, you know, who do you fight on? We look, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's more dangerous than they're saying. Or is there more people that have it than they're saying? Yeah, I, it could be more people have it than, well, maybe they haven't confirmed them yet. I don't know. It could um, be a lot of things, you know? Yeah. So. 20,000 people in China is a drop in a bucket, actually, so. Well, I mean, well, yeah. So why are they building these big facilities and... Yeah, exactly. I agree. Why? Okay. It's like, you know, are they building these facilities or are they just telling us they're building these facilities? You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can show us... A, they wouldn't know any better. They can show us the and say, hey, this is for our court, you know. We wouldn't know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, a lot of questions yet here. Lord of mercy. Yeah, 20,000 people in China is a drop in the bucket. I mean, seriously. Right. So, yeah, exactly. Why is this becoming a worldwide well, thing? Thousands, thousands get the flu and yeah. thousands Oh, God, die yeah. From it. Yeah. Uh, there was so a this school. Is what I'm not getting. What, what is so special about this virus? Exa I agree. I'm trying to see. Um, there was a school that closed completely. Galleon School somewhere. And they just closed the whole school down and just deep cleaned it. I mean, uh, to avoid oh, sickness. Really? Yeah, I'm trying to think where that was. I should have. <sighs> hmm. Well, it was nice for them to get rid of the good bacteria that could possibly kill them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lord. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. Like I said, am I worried about it? I'm getting to the point where I'm getting a slight concern. As before, I could have gave you right. a thought about it. Right. Now I'm a little more, but I don't know if it's just the height and maybe that's what they want, you know. Yeah, so. uh, let, I don't know. But if it, why hype that? Why have the. Um, Quarantined areas already ready to go. Um, yeah. I don't know that that worries me a little bit. Um, that they already have this these well, yeah, quarantine areas. What they have this, are we going to get thrown in these places? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That kind of worries me. Detroit's not that far from me, uh, so <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. know. Oh, and no. what major are they taking them to? That's, that's the yeah. biggest question, because that might even be closer to you. Could be. I don't know. Toledo's like uh, 20 minutes from Michigan, the actual line. Toledo is. To, Toledo's like 45 minutes from here. So, I don't know. I don't know, but this is kind of weird. Yeah, absolutely it is. That's <laughs> Um, like I said, as far as preparedness, survival, the best thing you can do is just try to stay on top of this. Yeah. Keep up with the updates. The updates from, not the updates from news organizations and financial places. Keep up with it with the people who actually have control, which is the CDC. They are the ones that have control over this. Right. So keep up to date if you can. Um, and, uh, keep up to date with their sites, call their number, whatever you have to do. Um, stop now. Get yeah. some bleach in your house. Get some. If you don't already have it, get some. You know, some disinfectants. Yeah. Get some 
some stuff that's going to help you breathe better. You just have to clean your air to, you know, humidify. Anything that's going to help you combat something that, you know, whether it's this one or something else, you know, it could be anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It could be bronchitis. You could get pneumonia. You could get the flu, you know? Absolutely. You not have to be thrown. You should already have these things in place. But if you don't get them now... Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Spreading the U.S., you are not going to find anything anywhere. No, no. Yeah. So that's one of the big things right now is like, stay ahead of it. Don't wait. And I'm not saying go out and buy these, buy all these bio kits and you know. The no. Don't do that. No. But. Right now, just stay on top of it. Get some bleach in your house. Get some lights all get, you know. Absolutely. Whatever you have. Get, even get some of the little rubber gloves, you know, because you may have children that, that, you know, not even with this necessarily, but with something else, and you don't want to give it to your other kids or the rest of your family, but you're giving them medicine. Right. You know, because right. you're the mom, but that doesn't mean that you're magically immune from whatever that kid has. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Another thing they said, I read somewhere, that the, one of the best things to do if you work in healthcare especially, is when you come home, is to um, strip down. Yeah. And throw oh, your yeah. clothes right in the washer. When, so. when I get home from work, just, just in general, I yeah. have a, uh, a light bulb right by the door. I yeah. spray the bottom of the shoes. I take them off. I instantly, yeah, I, I do that, and I wash my clothes separately. I yeah. work clothes and my regular clothes separately. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, you can even use that. They have that Lysol sanitizer out there. Or most of your washers have yeah. a, most of your newer washers have a sanitizing um, cycle on there. You can sanitize your clothes, so there you go. Yeah. Um, just a uh, quick thing that I saw real quick. Oh, darn, gee whiz. Virginia lawmakers on Monday rejected a gun control bill proposed by Governor Ralph Northam um, as a, they rejected his bill. It went down. Oh, good. Now, so, oh, please, and, and, yeah, I don't want to get into politics, but thank God right. it was rejected. Yeah. That's all I'm going to so say. So that's a start. That's a good I thing. I promise I would not get political, so I'm not going no. to. We're not going to. I just thought we yeah, needed an update on that. We needed an update. So it has been voted down. So. So, ha ha, Northam. There you go. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so there you go. An update. But, yeah. Um, yeah, just do it. I'm trying to get off the heavy here from the. That virus thing. Yeah. Just trying to. You know, like I said, we're not trying to scare people. I'm definitely. No, not. no, no. I just try to give people information that comes out so that way they can make their own decisions. Right. Right. Without having somebody else telling them what they should be thinking. It's exactly. Like we want you to make informed decisions, and that's why we're here. Informed. I and mean, just try to cipher through the junk, you know, yeah. because it, no matter what, they, no matter what you hear, you'll find something else that goes against it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Whether it's for or against or whatever, it's like you're, you're always going to find something somewhere. Yeah. That can, that can help you argue your case or whatever, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but in the meantime, just, uh, you know, do as you would do for any flu. Exactly. So. Um, some other things I wanted to discuss tonight, like getting way off the head of here. Okay. <laughs> the the full moon. Will oh be yeah. This Saturday going into Sunday. Is that pretty cool? So for any for anybody that does that for planting or anything else, this is the yeah. full moon coming up this weekend. For one of the largest yeah. full moons of 2020, this will be the second yeah. of 13 of them. Hmm. This weekend. Yep. Saturday night. Uh, it'll reach its highest point Here's around midnight. Planting, hair cutting, whatever you do yeah. for the full moon. Yeah. So there's a lot. If people laugh, it's like a lot of these young people will laugh and it's like they don't understand how many people actually yes buy moon cycles. Oh, they, yeah. They, 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 they plant, they cut hair. They do all these things by the moon cycles. Right. 
Exactly. And it's part of survival. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people use it as part of their survival. Mm hmm. So. Yeah, they're calling it a snow moon. Snow moon. So, you know, this is the second one of 13 we're going to have this year of these full moons here. Um, so Saturday night around midnight, it should be at its highest point. You should be able to, to see it. So there you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I think so. Yeah. Hopefully it won't be cloudy here and I'll be able to see it this time. Yeah, uh, it's, let's see. Dubbed the snow moon, the February full moon played an important role in Native American culture. Um, as a midwinter moon or the second full moon of winter, the Native American tribes of what is now the northern and eastern U.S. call this the snow moon or the hunger moon. Um, it was known as the snow moon because of the heavy snows that fall during this season. So there you go. little background there. Yeah, definitely get out there and get your stuff done. Your planting, but is it the, the hair cutting? Is it during the full moon or the new moon that's supposed to be better? No, I, I don't can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But it's just it's all in the farmer's almanac. But there you go. Most definitely go go check that out. And I wanted to share a story here okay. that I found. I don't know if it was true or not, but I just thought it was cool as heck. Um, it was about this park ranger. That he, you know, he he covers this huge state park, and there was, you know, some of these parks are huge. Oh you know, yeah, that yeah. There is, you know, all get out, and there was a part of the park that he said he hadn't actually been to since 1985. So uh, that should tell you how long. You know? Wow. And this story came out. Let's see, when was the date on this story? This was October 30th, 2019, when this was actually printed. Um, he was going out to, to you know, just get that part of the park because apparently this, the park that he works at is so huge. It's, it's in our Arcata, California. Okay. That it, it's so big that, you know, it takes years to go back. Well, anyways, he was going along and he stumbled across this cabin, this makeshift cabin. It was, like, very well put together and very well... Um, just contained in the woods, you couldn't see it. Okay. You know, they're camouflaged, good. even sitting on a on a cement slab, this thing was. Wow. So he, he gets paranoid, you know, he's looking around, he's trying to find, he feels like he's being watched now, you know. So he calls for backup. So as he's waiting for backup, he said he could almost hear, like, whispers in the trees because he was freaking out. You know? oh, <laughs> the Lord. The yeah, out yeah. Wood. So they, these people get there, and one of them had to make a call to get the the right to break into this cabin because nobody was answering. So they, they broke the padlock that was on it because the, the person was not home. Uh-huh. And they went inside and there was just like a chair and like this bed and different things like that and all kinds of weird things like little lists. And there were two different driver's licenses, which to me is freaky. Yeah. And there were two driver's licenses there with two different names. So it makes you wonder, did this person kill these people? Oh, well, Lord of <laughs> mercy. So that's the first thing I thought of. Yeah. But anyways, like all this stuff and like lists of things they needed for the cabin and stuff like that. And they couldn't really do anything at that time, so it was starting to get dark. And of course, you don't want to be in the woods in the middle no. of the night without no. playing them. So they put basically an eviction notice on the door because you're not allowed to build in state-owned land, you know. You're mm -hmm. not allowed to build or you know, camp, things like that without permission. So they came back the next day, the whole group did, and the cabin was gone. What do you mean it was gone? It was gone. Like, gone. Like, they just tore down everything. Oh, my God. The only thing that was, yeah, the only thing that was left was the cement slab, and then the, they made in charcoal the, the, the squatter symbol, you know, which is almost like a lightning bolt with an yeah. arrow. Yeah. Oh, my God. So they, they, they still, they, they don't know who this person was. They're trying to do research. They're trying to get stuff going. They don't know who it was. Did they take those driver's licenses? But, but yeah, they, though they have pictures of everything. If you if you go onto the Planet POV site, yeah. I posted this article. Okay. And you can actually see the cabin, the inside of the cabin, the stuff that was there, just like the okay. list that the person made out of stuff that they needed. 
You okay. Know? So I'm thinking they probably went to town or something to get supplies. When oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. So just, they put the you know, <coughs> that person me. fell out in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. That's crazy. And he said you actually couldn't even see the cab, and it says here until he was, like, you know, about 20 feet from it, he couldn't even see it. Wow. He just stumbled across it. And wow. you can see it. There's, like, a little porch on it and everything. Yeah. So that's some survival skills. If you can survive, you know, like I said, assuming this is a true story, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. That, you know, you think about this, you know, survival skills, you're in the middle of being nowhere. Yeah. And you can survive, you know, assumingly by yourself. Wow. How crazy is that? You know, like I said, though, too, that this guy was that good at camouflage. Yeah. He could have been, like, standing 10 feet from him, and he wouldn't have even seen him. He's probably watching him the whole time. Wow. Okay, but, okay, they got the driver's licenses? Uh-huh. Well, who did they belong to? Do they know? And they said that they thought they had the ID, but it's, it's driver's license with two different names. Okay. So they don't know. I hope they want it and they're not missing. I mean... That's, a, that's, see, that's the first thing I thought of. Did he kill these people? I mean, yeah, <laughs> did, did he, it doesn't, we don't know that though, right? And then they said they think it's an older person because they found CHS case. But, um, but I was thinking about this. I was like, well, if you haven't been there since 1985. Yeah, yeah. To that area, that may be they, just all they have. You know, they probably didn't want to spend money for, you know, new stuff. That Yeah, that they found all kinds of stuff, like just all kinds of weird things there. Well, hopefully they'll make some sense so, out of it. Wow. That's crazy. Right. And I see the pictures. That's crazy that it's gone. Wow. Oh, are you, are you, are you looking at yeah, it now? Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's the only thing that was left, which is, was, was the squatter symbol. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I see the jars of stuff. Yeah, Creepy furniture. So, A creepy know, looking rocking chair. <laughs> I know, a rocking chair holding. Yeah. Creepy furniture. Wow. Mm. So, and who knows where they went? And they, they probably made this thing to be taken apart quickly. Could be, know? yeah. That they were squatting, they they more yeah. they weren't gonna fan stuff. So wow. my question is, how where did they go with it though? Like you know, and did they drag it? Did they did they have some kind of system? Did they have a truck? And what? Yeah. How did they do this? And that's almost a story for for our other show. You know, yeah. Connect it. Yeah, definitely. We'll have to keep up on this. Be interesting if they. You know, uh, what those driver's license names um, revealed, if anything. Exactly. Wow. Uh, they were toyed with the idea by getting forensics down here. Huh. It felt ominous, and perhaps this individual is not just an innocent squatter. Hmm. I was thinking he might be wanted for something. Yeah, apparently. Um, let's see. The cabin existed on Nature Refuge. The crew left an eviction notice. From there, things really got strange. Yeah, there's all kinds okay. of pictures of the inside. Um, he frantically searched all the archives to see if he could find anything specific or a specific individual had been caught in the act. Uh, nothing. Returning the next day, it had been entirely deconstructed. Yeah. That's the cleanest camp cleanup I've ever seen. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> there wasn't even a nail. Not even a gum wrapper left behind. Wow. 
And that's probably because the person didn't want the forensic take it from them, I would imagine. Yeah, once again, even the access routes to the site showed virtually nowhere and no one reported. you think you'd see a person hauling heavy items and there was nothing. Huh. Well, they're assuming that it was hauled away, though, did you? Yeah, but they couldn't find any tracks. Yeah, true. Yeah. Nothing, you know, still unsolved. wonder if they'll ever... Isn't that wild? Yeah. Wow. Come out, come out, wherever you are. (laughs) (laughs) That's what it's... That's the night that... uh, That's what it says. Um... Wow. <laughs> That's so weird. Right? Yeah, that yeah, located on one of the multiverse portals. Who knows? That is crazy. Whew. That is creepy because there's no sign of anybody moving anything. You know, you'd think there'd be tracks of some kind. Yeah, so that makes you wonder, with two driver's licenses, was there two people? Yeah, yeah. You know, that should give them some info, if nothing else. I mean, wow. That is, that's, that, that's a creepy story, actually. I bet you, right? won't, I bet you they don't forget that it's for a while. It's wild to think that somebody was that skilled. Yeah, That they yeah. could put up something to where you couldn't even see it. Yeah, yeah, you he know? said he was about to... Right at bottom. Yeah. That yeah, is they something. They were able to survive out there. Yeah. For God how long. Wow. Right? Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. And while we're here, and I'll, you know, um, embellish a little tomorrow, but congrats to the Chiefs. Wow. Oh, yeah. On the Super Bowl. We're going to do a sports talk tomorrow, huh? Yeah, good game. Good game. It was a good game. It was. It was. It most definitely was. Even though I'm a Niners fan. Yeah, me too, but you know. I was probably for too long, but I was glad that she's got it. I like that. Yeah, they both, you know, deserved it, really. Nothing the 49ers should be ashamed about. That's for damn sure. They got there. Um, so you had total opposites. You had. Uh, one of the oldest coaches, Andy Reid, of course, never won a Super Bowl. He finally won one. But if the 49ers would have won, it would have been one of the youngest coaches. So, <laughs> either way, it was good for me. I, I liked both teams. I really did. But it was a good game. Yeah. It was good to see uh, some different teams in there. I, I enjoyed it for a change. Somebody that, that, that didn't start with the P and N with an S. <laughs> Patriots. That's crazy. Oh, that's funny. Um, that, apparently, there's going to be snow coming across the Midwest again. Of course, it'll eventually be here. But uh, apparently, uh, a McDonald's closed for a day. But it causes a McDonald's to close for 18,000 years. Due to the storm, we will be closing on 10 p.m. 1-19-2019. We will reopen 8 a.m. on one twenty. Two zero zero one nine. Eighteen thousand years later. That's gonna be the longest close I've ever seen. That's the sign. Yeah. That's pretty funny actually. Oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> Closing for eighteen thousand years. Okay. They put an extra zero in there, which was kind of funny. Ah a friend of mine went to uh New Orleans and Yesterday, she was at the Marie Laveau House of Voodoo. Ooh. I can't wait till she gets back. I want more info on that, so. Oh, yeah. Saturday, we'll definitely discuss that in detail if we can. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Lots of Lots of stuff out there to talk about, that's for sure. Lots of stuff coming in. Um, as far as, like, the survival thing, we discussed the coronavirus. Yep. Again, just stay ahead of it. Yeah. Whatever's going on, whatever it is, 
nobody actually knows <coughs> what the hell's going on, really. You no. know, there's like no single person that has the whole picture at this point. No, time. no, yeah. Um, exactly. Stay ahead of it. Yeah. Go to the CDC site daily, even twice a day, find out what kind of updates there are. You know, if there's anybody else infected, things like that, what's going on. Get the disinfectants in your house. Get the things that you need right now, just in case. Absolutely. Absolutely. Prepare. Yes. That's what this, this, that's what this you know, that's what we're about. It's proper, you know, get proper preps for things. So right now, this is what you need. You may need something else later. I don't know. But I'm just saying right now, you just need to, because his those kinds of things you can use for all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of sickness, things like that. So be prepared. Yeah. If there's any updates on um, any of this, we will let you know for sure. So, wow, crazy stuff. Or if you know anything we don't know, you know, let us know. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And I want to give out shout outs to. The, the survival groups that we have going here, which is this one, the Planet B, period, O, period, E, period, which is Planet B, O, B, standing for Bug Out Bag, of course. You can find us on Facebook. We will we will be there putting up updates and different articles and different things all the time. Mm -hmm. um, survival Wolf, go there, check it out. There's always good information. Oh, yeah. There's a good mix there. Or Planet B, O, B, we're, we're kind of more of like, like more modern survival. Right, right. Survival wolf kind of has a good mix of both. Yes, you yes. You see the honor of survival. You know, he allows articles, things like that, and you also see, like, the, the basic survival there. You know, a lot of, you know, good good information. And then there's NAD survivalists, which there is, like, you will see strictly survival. You won't see any other kinds of things. So, yeah. you know, you kind of got all three of the spectrums there. There you covered, go. So. Yeah. Definitely go check them out. Absolutely. Sure. You can get a hold of us there, or you can get a hold of us at KBLP LLC Facebook page. Yes, and this this program was sponsored by who? King's Cannabis, of course. They're the That's best. That's right. Yeah. Can't forget our people that are paying the lights. Heck no. Light. <laughs> yep, shout out to King's. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to King's Cannabis. So, absolutely, yes. Um, you can also catch us on <laughs> Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google, um, KBLP, LLC, YouTube 4, or I said that ass backwards. Yeah, KBLP, LLC 4. 4 on YouTube. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As it was coming out of my mouth, I knew it wasn't right, so, but I had to continue because I already started <laughs> Duh. It's okay. I'll be all right. So they tell it me. Happens. And yes, we are everywhere, including sometimes, you know, some government officials like to listen to yeah. our show because it's funny. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. There was some beeping in there before. I don't know what that was. You know, there's always something. I know it, right? Yes, yeah, something, something, something. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why they think we were somebody. But I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> You, you, must, do, you do one mock nuclear show, and then it's all over. Yeah. <laughs> so true, so true. Get over it. Yeah, I know, right? And it was so funny. I, I can't figure that out for the life of me, but oh well. Yep. Yeah, well, <laughs> well let me real quick while, uh, while we're on the air here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see who's been listening into our show. Oh. This, one won't show, this, this one won't show up right now, but... But I want to see, like, last time he was actually listening. Uh-oh. He wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got, you got longer, you know? Yeah. We will find out. Geolocation. Let's see. Oh, we, we, we were good people last time, apparently. Oh, yeah? Because we just had the United States, Germany, Canada, and somewhere in the Philippines listening to us. So that oh. was pretty good. Yeah. We'll see after we'll we'll, we'll see after this episode. Yeah. yeah. See where we stand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We'll, we'll see where we're at again. Yeah. 
listeners. Yeah, thanks everyone thank for listening, you though. Listening. Appreciate it. Green by coffee, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. But thanks everybody for listening out there. So, any last words? Um, no. Well, actually, just like I said, just everybody just stay ahead of the thing. Don't lose your head. Don't go down the rabbit hole. Don't start, you know, going right into the, you know, the Mad Max scenario. Just keep a level head. Keep to the ground. Like I said, I will always post stuff that I yes. see right here, but that doesn't mean that that's, you know, 100% the case, you know, because sometimes these news media, they, they take one share of the truth and that's it. Yeah. But, you know, I, I do like to report it because those are the things that, that are out there. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't mean just because somebody's using a antiviral drug for HIV means that they're, you know, that this is some airborne HIV that, that's, you know, right. there's no proof of that. No, no, none at all. None at all, so... Just keep up to date and um, just uh, stay ahead of it, like she said. So there you go. All right. Okay, so sounds good. Good night. Stay safe. And sorry, I got distracted here for a second. Okay. Everybody have a good night. Stay safe. And like I said, just keep your eyes open. Yep. Okay, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time on Planet B.O.B. Night, y'all. Night.